This is my partner, Ken, and I'm so lucky because he's going to be cooking me my Caribbean cheat meal today. Hello, fam, and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal, and this channel is all about helping you, if you're a woman over 40, or like me, over 50, get in great shape. And today I'm going to be taking you through how I handle a cheat meal or a treat meal. And today we're going for a walk because it's my birthday and I'm actually walking without a weighted jacket for a change, just a normal country walk. Do you know I haven't had a cheat meal since Christmas Day, which is about three months ago. It's now March and it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And so I thought, do you know what? I want a break from my diet. I want to eat something I enjoy. And we can do that if we do that in the right way. But what I do find is I don't like to have cheat meals every single week, like you see some people do. And I tend not to really overdo it when I do have one, because I don't want to undo all the good work that I've been doing. And at the moment, I am on bikini prep. I can't do anything that's going to set me off track. So I did check in with my coach who said it was absolutely fine. I don't actually have a date for my next show yet. I'm waiting for the date to be announced because of COVID and a national lockdown. The original date got cancelled, so I think it's probably going to be between 10 and 15 weeks time. So I am quite far away from the show, so for that reason, it's okay to go ahead and have a treat meal. And if you're interested in finding out more about my bikini competition journey, I will link a playlist in the description and at the end of this video all about my competition journey. Chopped up some plantain with some cinnamon and fried it with olive oil. Is we have um, the curry goat, which is warming up. So I made yesterday. Some curry goat. Don't burn your hand. Curry goat. So what do you put in there then? What is it made of? Um, coconut butter, coconut cream, I should say, curry, hot pepper, um, uh, all-purpose seasoning, garlic. We have some roti. Try some peas. Caribbean food is the best. So Ken's Caribbean kitchen did not disappoint. The meal was an absolute treat. I've still got the bun and cheese to come, but I've got barely any space left. It's a traditional Jamaican dish, which I absolutely love. So if you have a treat meal or a cheat meal, these are some of the things that I recommend you do. One of the strategies that I like to use is I don't have them every single week. So I tend to have them spaced out on special occasions. I do find for me that often if I have a cheat meal, what can happen is it turns into a whole cheat day. So I'm better off not having them at all, but having my calories up high enough where I don't feel the need for cheat meals. And so that's how I work it out. But for some of you watching, a cheat meal is absolutely fine because you're gonna just stick to that one meal per week. And if you wanna do a cheat meal, I recommend that you just do one meal and not a whole day of cheating because actually that can really undo 
all the good work you've been doing all week. And you have to be careful because if you're one of those people that tends to binge a lot, it might be better to skip having the cheat meals altogether. But for some people, they find that it's a really good way, if they're dieting, of keeping them on track because it's something that helps you mentally. It keeps you motivated because it's something to look forward to. And every now and again, it's just nice, isn't it? to enjoy the foods that you enjoy. And actually, it can work to boost your metabolism. And if you like this video, please do give it the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and get the bell notification so you're notified when my videos first drop. And do also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok where I do posts all about this stuff to do with fitness and weight loss for women over 40, 50 and beyond.